how do we get a good toolpath to machine this circular pocket out when we've got this interrupted slot? Let's show a few different ways that we can fix this. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. The first thing I noticed when this file got sent in is the sketch was active. See this tan here? And I always like to make sure you have sketches turned off when you're not actively using them. So I'm gonna activate the component by clicking on the radio button here. That's not necessary by the way, but it's just good practice and have it. Expand the component, expand the sketches, and I'll click the light bulb to turn that off. The reason you don't wanna have sketches visible is if you are working in another component and you accidentally create a sketch by and click on the sketch from another component, it can swap you into the other component, which is kind of crazy and, and not so good. The problem right now when it comes to machining this is you, we, we want to do a 2D contour to clean up this inside bore, but we've got this broken tool path. So there's two ways that we can fix it. One way, which is actually pretty quick, is Fusion 360 does an unusually good job most of the time at defeaturing stuff. So what we can do, I'm going to zoom in, is I'm going to click this face right here, and then I'm going to hold down Control. I'm going to click this other face. So I've got those two faces selected. Now I just hit backspace or delete on my keyboard, and boom, it just deletes that feature. That's, to me, an awesome and quick way to do that. Um, that's particularly useful if you're only going to say use a bandsaw to cut this slot. So you don't even care about the, you know, the CAD data being there. If we want to fix it a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more sophisticated way, what we can do is we'll create a new sketch. So I'll go to sketch, create sketch, and select a plane or planar face. So I'm going to pick right here. So we're sketching a plane uh, on the top of the part, and I'm going to go to sketch, oops, sketch, project, right here, project. P is the keyboard shortcut. So what project is going to do is it's going to project something that I click onto the sketch plane I'm working on. This In this instance, the circle I'm clicking here happens to be on the same plane. Um, so it doesn't have be it doesn't look quite as impactful, but what that's done is it's created this purple line that is uh, you know linked back to where that hole is. I'll click OK because I'm done with that. All that I really wanted out of this was the center point because I'm now going to hit C for circle, and it's going to say place your center point. Well, I want my center point to be right here, and I can drag out, and it'll actually snap to my existing projected circle, just like so. I've now got, I shall show you by turning off the body, I've now got a complete circle that goes all the way around my part. So when we hop into the, I'll stop sketch first. Turn my sketch off, because I don't need it right now. I'll go into cam. We'll do a new setup real quick. It'll be relative size still a box with no additional stock. I'm just setting up a quick cam operation to show. Again, so we'll do a 2D adaptive to rough that pocket out. And I think it'll, okay, yeah, so there's a good example. I'll pick a quarter inch end mill real quick. Oh, I just did an update and it added all these tools in. That's funny. So again, when I go to pocket selections, clicking this is not what I want. It selects all that stuff. So instead, what I can do, see this up here on the top left? This is where our, our sort of part is on the CAD side. I can expand that. I can expand the tilt motor, expand the sketches, and I can turn the light bulb on for sketch three, which is the sketch I just made. And now I can click my circle. So I've done a 2D adaptive tool path. Okay, wrong height plane. If you take a look, see how it's cutting at the top? So I'll go in, edit, heights. I'll change the height to the model bottom. Click OK. Now we could go and create a 2D contour here, but since we've already picked that geometry in the bottom height, a quicker way is right click, create derived operation, 2D milling, 2D contour. Click OK. You're done. 
and now we get a fully concentric toolpath around that circle. I can turn my sketch off because I don't want to see it anymore. And we could even simulate it just to show. Boom, boom. So hope you enjoyed that, folks. Take care. See you next Friday.